Well, here we are again. This um, this update um, is probably the one that, that, that some of you are waiting to hear. All of you are waiting to hear. What am I saying? Let's just dive in with the, the news I got recently. <clears throat> well, I went for a meeting at a hospital and was told that they've looked at the scan. So I had another... <clears throat> Sorry, it's coming up again. PET scan and... Um, so they they put some radioactive um, dye in you and they check everything. So they had to look at that and they said they can't see anything. So that's, as you would understand it, people giving you the all clear. They don't say, that's your all clear, nothing there. What they say is um, they've had a look at it and they can't see anything. So that's the good news way. Um, they, what they could see is what I could constantly feel, which is a... A line that runs across, which I, I imagine is just the edge of the burn line for the uh, radiotherapy, because it feels like an open wound, and that's what's keeping my throat swollen. It's just very gradually uh, getting less and less swollen and and easier, uh, but it it does feel, although we're in week ten, I think of recovery, it feels um, it, it just feels still sore to swallow and in the morning you sort of it feels like you're cracking open a wound uh, to start your day but it's getting better it's, it's just feeling smaller and smaller each time you know each morning that passes but if i if i could so if i could if i could start right there again at the beginning and make uh, better decisions i would because the the cancer that i had was throat cancer everything that's going through your throat is is, is massively affected so I, I don't have experience of any liver or lung cancer or any, any, I can only tell you about the thing that I had. So I would probably, if I did it again, I would probably have the, the tube where you fire food directly through a little tube, you, it's straight into your stomach and bypass the throat. But at the same time, they were keen to tell you, uh, you need to keep, you need to practice swallowing so that you can still use your tongue. And one of the weird effects that I've had is that I still, it, it, it's quite weird when your tongue isn't, you think you'd never forget, but you do. When you're swallowing, you sort of don't quite swallow properly. The tongue doesn't meet the top of your mouth. It doesn't seal things off. So when you swallow, currently what happens when it gets to here, it sort of hits a filtering system and seems to hover around where I've got to try two or three times to knock it back. But, you know, better every day. I've got the all clear, as we will euphemistically say. And, um... Since the start of treatment, a lot of things have been held up. My muscle development has all disappeared. There's none of that. And of course, as you can tell, I've got a swollen nut sack. So, you know what I mean? Things should change. So, I need to do a bit more exercise and build myself up. I've gone down from 91 kilos. I'm now down to 69 kilos, which, which is all right for your average 16-year-old schoolboy. But it's actually pretty light. Um, so before getting back on a bike, I'd like to get get a bit stronger, build a bit more muscle around me. And funny enough, I could, you could my knees look look quite swollen, and the, the bottom of my back was quite sore. I'm, I'm putting that down to um, just not having the muscle mass there to hold me up, so it's kind of impacting on the bone. So I'd like to do that before, because I think if I fall off a motorbike now, I'm just going to snap like a dry twig. Uh, so. Every day, uh, bigger and better. The more you talk, I would definitely tell you, the more you speak, dry like you don't know. Oh my goodness, dry. And um, still getting sort of strange. If you reckon, what's the, I'm trying to think of the, the, the foods. There are some foods that I can just eat and they taste like you would expect them to taste, but almost all of them don't. There's still a kind of metal type taste or, a, or just a kitchen towel taste, which I can only tell you, 10 weeks in, it's just, I'm tired of it. I just would like some taste to come back. That would be tremendous. And saliva would, um, that would be a bonus because you've got to keep taking sips. Mm. <clears throat> We've got, the show is um, is expanding as we talked before. We're doing, uh, we're doing write-ups on different bikes, Husqvarna and uh, Harley to begin with. And we've started a new round of funding. We've started, we've put our media document there for sponsorship opportunities for people. So if you want to head in with some of that, 
tremendous. That'll make the show bigger and better and more catered for what you're looking for. I'll take this moment to say thank you very, very much for all the well wishes that sent me in. Some of them, honestly, I, I read a lot of them, but it, it gets too emotional. I really, really appreciate it. I feel your love and, and I can only say thank you so very, very much. And in the fullness of time, I'll just be big and fat again and hanging off a motorbike and <laughs> things will be sweet. So be well, lots of love. Speak to you next time. Take care.